And it's Wyduck here with another StarCraft 2 replay, this time on Akalon Waste. And this time it'll be starring on your bottom right, spawning as your green Protoss, Evil Geniuses, Huck. In the top left, spawning as the Red Zerg. And I know his name says Goswizer. But uh, the W is supposed to be 2U, so it's actually Gosu User. So Huck's been attending a lot of uh, tournaments lately. He went to Valencia. Uh, he seems to be trying out for the uh, first Hong Kong Esports tournament. Uh, he was in Premier League. He was not, uh, um, in the round of 32 in uh, WCS America was uh, knocked out I believe uh, uh, 0-2 uh, so he'll be going down to the Challenger League next time but Huck has put in, in other strong performances before in tournaments he's putting up a gateway now Gosu User on the other hand is sending out both overlords to spawn he hasn't committed to a spawning pool yet so he's probably going to be opening up with a hatchery actually he's going to open up with a spawning pool interesting so he goes 15 pool some things to note on this map is your third, generally players like to take this third because they have destructible rocks, so they can knock out this side and knock out the left side, uh, and then they have a barrier before people can get in. This, taking this as a third is much more difficult, uh, so generally this will be the fourth for a lot of players. Ghost User is going to be putting down another, uh, putting down his second hatchery at his natural. His spawning pool is almost complete, but he has no gas, so he won't be going for map control. Puck is going for a cybernetics core, of course, pretty standard opening. He does have two gas, so he's going for a more gas, uh, a gas heavy build here. He only has four probes, not six, so it's probably not going to be a, a blink all in or anything like that. Those overlords are still moseying down over to Huck's base. It's going to be taking a while. In the next half minute or so, they'll notice there is no fast expansion. Ah, now if you just notice, Huck was building a zealot, and then he cancelled it, and then built, and then is building a stalker immediately after. So, because Huck has not, uh, has not been able to scout out his opponent, he wasn't sure if there's going to be early aggression or not. So, as a security measure, he's building the zealot. The zealot since he ha did not see any more uh, any zerglings, then he cancels the zealot and starts building a stalker right away. Puts down the nexus. Two zerglings are popping into the natural. The stalker is going to be trying to take down the overlord, but uh, these two zerglings are going to make that very difficult. So the stalker is going to have to focus on the zerglings, and uh, the st uh, huck's going to clean that up. Ghost user has his first gas up and hasn't hit 100 gas yet, so he'll probably be going for Zergling speed once he gets to 100 gas. There he is, he's going for Zergling speed, and he does that hatchery trick so he can get an additional drone out before his overlord is needed. The stalker's going to go in for some uh, early scouting and possible aggression. There is just a queen here, but uh, I don't. The, the stalker's not going to be able to do too much damage here. The queen is going to scare the stalker away, at least temporarily. Now with two queens, that stalker is definitely not going to be able to do anything. So Huck realizes that is immediately going to leave the expansion of Gosu User. Gosu User is building or has built six zerglings. Zergling speed is halfway done. Huck has to identify this. If Huck... One, uh, six Zerglings for a Stalker is not very good for the Stalker. But two, if the Stalker hangs around too much, then the Zergling speed is going to make it very difficult for Huck to be able to do anything. I like Huck... I like uh, the fact that Huck has put this pylon on the upper cliff here. So he's able to take a look at this ravine. So if Gosu User is going to run units past the center of the map, he'll be able to see it. Plus, he can also warp in units on the high ground or the low ground. Ghost Uter's Zerglings are cut off by two force fields. Uh, unfortunately, Huck is only able to kill one Zergling. Not much is going on uh, in either people's in either player's base, as only five Zerglings have been killed on uh, for Gosu User. Uh, no workers have been 
damage. The crew spread is beginning for Ghost User, and he's elected to build two spine crawlers at his natural. So he is expecting something coming, and he's right. There's a whole large warpit of zealots, about eight of them, plus a stalker. And there's only one damage circling your two queens. I don't think those users are be able, going to be able to do too much. The supplies are even, but you have to remember, most of that is going to be drones. And queens do not hold up against zealots. The zealots are still running in, damaging that first queen, ringing around the rosy. Now some zerg are going to try to take out those zealots at the spine crawlers. The spine crawler, the first one gets up, but is immediately taken out. The second one spawns. And is poking away at the zealot, but that's a lot of zealots. I think Ghost User is going to have a lot of problems fending off this attack. Huck is still damaging everything. One queen is down. The second one is in red, and it, the zealot finally chops it away. The zerglings have zergling speed and are running around frantically, but that's still a lot of zealots in the in the natural. Going to try and surround the stalker, and the stalker is moseying, trying to get away. The stalker is finally taken out. But there's still five Zealots, and the Zealots do a lot of damage to the Zerglings, so they're going to try and get away. The Zerglings, there's quite a few Zerglings now. Uh, there's about 12, and there's still five Zealots in the natural. The Zealots are slow, but they're strong compared to the Zerglings. So the Zealots are getting, there's a full surround on the Zealots. Uh, so they're going to be eventually being taken out, but there's three more Zealots being warped in. The Zerglings have, I de have been able to deal with some of the Zealots, but there's still a whole bunch of Zealots in the natural. And if you take a look at the supply, there's a 15 supply difference. Ghost user, user has identified this. Running away with the drones, but his natural is under constant attack. This natural is going to fall in about half a minute or so. And Huck is still building lots of units in the back. Has the Stargate, has the Twilight Cancel warping in now. The expansion for Ghost user is down. 20 supply down. I don't think Ghost user is going to be able to come back from this. He's building a whole bunch of spy crawlers in the back, plus a Spire. The Zealous can see the Spire and makes a beeline directly towards the Spire. It's not even completed yet. And this Queen is going to get chopped up by a whole bunch of side blades. Two more hits and this Queen is down. One, two. The Queen is done. So is one of the Spine Crawlers. And this second Spine Crawler is almost finished as well. Ghost User identifies can't do much. Down by 40 supply. So he GG's. Huck was able to hide his aggression while Ghost User was still trying to tech up. Ghost user only had two hatcheries and went for some spine crawlers, but by that time it's already too late. So Huck was able to identify that, and um, the game goes to Huck. Thanks again, guys, and see you guys next time.